And what does the Bible say? I presented them unto Pharaoh. Again, Joseph knows by presentation. Yeah. Again, the best bang for the buck, knowing how to market, knowing how to set the thing. He's setting the thing up. He's actually going to get Pharaoh to agree to something that Joseph has already in his mind through wisdom that said, I'm going to get Pharaoh to give y'all the best. Yeah. Oh See, sometimes you can speak a thing to a person and you can give it to them in such a way that they, they ain't thinking it was their idea. But this man Joseph has integrity. Yeah. And his word carries a lot. That's why if you don't know anybody, you gotta find somebody that does know somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Read what the word says. Pharaoh said unto his brother, What is your occupation? First thing Pharaoh asked. See, Joseph knew the protocol. People stepping into that country, crossing their borders. Normally they wouldn't have had an audience with a Pharaoh. But there would have been an officer. You remember? Even Matthew, one of the disciples, the Bible was said that he was sitting at the seat of custom. I mean, no problem. The book of Matthew, the one that wrote Matthew, the Bible said he was sitting at the seat of custom. When the Lord walked up to him and said, Follow me. And the Bible said he left his work and followed Jesus. Y'all not in here with In Jesus' day, the disciples, they was coming into Capernaum. And the Bible said, the disciples asked Jesus, do, no, the, the, the tax collectors asked Jesus, those at customs said, does your master pay tribute? You right. know, right. the custom. Yeah. The foreigners, when they come in, they had to pick a little tribute to come into the, across the borders. Yeah. And Jesus asked his disciples a question first. He said, who are they supposed to collect it from? The children, or my those that live there, or the foreigners? And the disciples said, the foreigners. Jesus said, but to keep from offending them. He said, I'll do the Bible. He said, go ahead and pay that custom. That's what he told him. He said, I'll tell you how you get that money. Y'all go fishing. That was their occupation. They knew how to do that. He said, go fish. And the first fish you catch. Can y'all help me finish these scriptures? The first fish you can't do what? Open his mouth. You got to first open his mouth. And then take out the coin. Yeah. Take that coin and do what? Go pay, pay the taxes. Y'all not here with it. You need a trade. You need a marketable skill. Oh, y'all not in here with me. Your best is yet to come, but it's not going to come to you in the mailbox. It's not going to show up. See, some of us, we work 30, 35, and 40 years, and it does come to our mailbox. They're willing to help you. 
you got to help them help you. And let them know this is temporary. I'm not going to be on this long. I'm not going to be stuck in this. And when my children come up, they're going to be stuck in it. And when they have some, they're going to get stuck in it. We are people of occupation and trade. Our great grand, great 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 granddaddy worked. We worked. They were Everybody in our past had a trade. And they passed it on. See, it used to be that we could pass our trades on to our children. Oh, I said a different way. Now we go to college because now there are not many trades to be had. But when our daddy was a carpenter, we learned how to talk. When our daddies were plumbers, we learned how to plumb. Hey, my mama. Her husband was a licensed plumber. Her boy was a licensed plumber. Y'all out of here with me. But they worked on my house and did a good job. It's still working. But now we don't have any, we do not have workable trades. We have nothing to pass on to our children. We, we do not even pass on this day. To our, we spend all of the children inheritance. But the Bible said a good man will leave an inheritance to his children and to his children's children. That's a good man. It's a poor man that will not leave an inheritance. Yeah, 
And, and Laban didn't know what to do. He said, some of them, best one. He said, some of them got a ring around their neck. And some of them stop. He said, I want the speckle and the ring next. The God flipped it and made them all one color. <laughs> when the blessing of God is on you, I don't care how you go out and disadvantage. There's no disadvantage. Don't, there's no disadvantage to your call. Stop that with that. That's not a disadvantage. The shepherds had a disadvantage in Egypt because all of them was an abomination. But when the blessing of God is on you, you're going to make it even in Egypt. Look what I said what Egypt means. Egypt means bondage. Egypt means oppression and cruelty. Even in the midst of people treating you cruelly and oppressing you, you can be fruitful.